So what is up pimps, hoes, and buffaloes, we are back today with another video, and yes, as you can see, we are playing some Call of Duty Black Ops once again, using the Suppress Galil on the map grid on some 6v6, and I didn't realise this until recently, but grid is actually one of my favourite maps from Black Ops, and when I was playing this game religiously about a year ago, I never used to sit there in the lobby thinking, yeah, vote for grid, it's amazing, I can't wait to play this map, you need to vote for it, no, that isn't how it worked for me, when I was playing Black Ops, I never used to like this map, but when I go back to it I always seem to gain success on it somehow so that is why this gameplay is a backdrop for today's commentary and what I want to be addressing to you guys today is pretty much introducing and breaking into the first video of a new mini series on this channel which is going to be happening this week and within that I want to be breaking the mold of the current existing Call of Duty commentaries that we see in our sub boxes every single day from this moment and of course to avoid hypocrisy, I must admit that I am the big culprit of this as well. I sit here a lot of my time bitching and bullshitting about MW3 and Call of Duty in general, but what I want to do within these videos and in this video today is really look at the things that we actually love about Call of Duty. Why every single year in November or October we spend our money on the game and we continuously play it and buy it. And of course, I'm going to go back to MW2 where I started off, Black Ops, and of course MW3. And if I can get a two-minute video about the things I love about MW3, I will consider that a success. But anyway, I'm going back and bitching already. Christ, let's concentrate. Come on, come on, come on. Basically, guys, the things I love about Call of Duty in general. First of all, the headset. And I don't know how many of you have got a headset, whether or not you use it for in-game chat, or whether or not you just use it for sound whoring purposes, of course, to, you know, enhance your ability to do well at the game. Because Sitrep Pro is a beast. Hearing footsteps helps your game out a lot. But nevertheless, I use a headset for a different reason, and that is interacting with people in-game and in the pre-game lobbies. And of course, there are two ways you can use a headset. You can use it for banter in the lobbies. You can use it for banter while you're playing the game. And of course, I must admit, I love exploiting it in these ways. I love sitting there, speaking to people in the lobby. I was playing some World at War last night, and I was just in there chatting for about an hour with these American guys, and it was just genuinely good fun. And you know, if we weren't playing Call of Duty, and we didn't have a headset, that wouldn't be humanely possible. As well as that, of course, you can use a headset in order to help your team. If you're playing a really competitive game, which is something I'll lead on to in a moment, if you're playing a competitive game and your team does have a headset, you can help them out by calling out enemies, and you know, that could be the difference between that one or two kills which decides a really close game whilst playing Call of Duty. And of course, that is what I want to be led into for my second point, and I don't have that much time, but competitive gaming is something that I really really enjoy and you know when I say competitive gaming I must admit I've never played MLG I've never played GB in my entire life but when I play a really closely fought match on Call of Duty be it Black Ops MW2 or MW3 and if I win it there is this amazing sense of fulfillment it's like winning a game of sport it's like winning a football match or a tennis match they're just two of the sports that I play but when you play a really close game of Call of Duty even when you take a loss Sometimes, you know, you can be the sportsman and you can admit, wow, that was a really close game. But throughout it, you're always enjoying it. You're always thinking, right, we need to get this kill, we need to cap this flag. And that is something I love about Call of Duty. That small element of strategy that I know really isn't involved that much anymore. But when you get those close games and you really need to think about what is going to happen, whether or not you need to use kill streaks or whether or not it is the right time to use specialist. That is something I love about it. But anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video, and I hope you're looking forward to hearing what I love about these three games that I've been playing in the past three years of this Call of Duty series. But nevertheless, guys, it is out for me today, so thank you for watching. Peace. More to come.